When is the launch, and will it be successful? Attention space enthusiasts! Get ready for the next Starship launch. This video reveals the upcoming launch date and dives into the mission's goals. We'll explore the successes and challenges of the previous launch, along with the exciting improvements SpaceX is making for Starship's re-entry. Join us to learn everything you need to know about this pivotal mission. Before starting this video, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates. Let's dive into the video. Um, when SpaceX plans a Starship launch, there is no question that this is serious business. The founder of SpaceX must disclose it to the world, and when Musk commits, you better be ready for a significant historical turning point. That could be the case. You might be wondering at this point what to anticipate from the next Starship launch, and why anyone should even care. Excellent queries. In this video, I'll address your questions and provide all the information you might need about the upcoming launch of Starship. Nothing compares to seeing the Starship spacecraft with its six Raptor engines and its extremely heavy rocket with its 33 Raptor engines tearing into space. I'm sure you'll agree. Everyone in the audience is eager to see the culmination of it all a few minutes after liftoff. For SpaceX and Musk, a successful separation is a major victory. It remains to be seen if SpaceX can pull this off in the upcoming Starship launch. It seems clear that we won't be able to fully appreciate the next Starship launch unless we have some idea of what transpired during the prior launch and the entire trajectory of the commercial space firm. In what is currently the longest test flight, SpaceX launched the formidable Starship into space a few weeks ago. Sadly, the Starship broke apart during its 49-minute flight back to Earth after traveling halfway around the planet. As the car got closer to Earth, it broke apart at a startling 65 kilometers. As this was going on, the Super Heavy booster exploded during its attempted landing burn in the Gulf of Mexico, meeting a terrible end. You must be reminded that the goal of the test flight was not to complete an orbit of the Earth if you believe it was a failure. In the test flight, SpaceX's primary objective was to reach orbital velocities of 175,000 mph, which it accomplished. According to Amy Johnson, a space journalist based in Florida, who spoke with Al Jazeera, SpaceX is 22 years old today. The business revealed its plans for Starship in 2015. Johnson expressed her appreciation for SpaceX's success. In less than a year, this rocket system has undergone three in-flight tests. Thus, they are undoubtedly moving in the right direction towards that objective. From SpaceX's exclusive facility in Boca Chica, Texas, the launch was conducted. The SpaceX crew has, as one might anticipate, learned a great deal from this prior test flight and will significantly enhance the next Starship mission. Gwen Shotwell, the president and chief operating officer of SpaceX, stated during a speech at the Satellite 2024 conference on March 19 that while the business was still analyzing the data from the vehicle's third integrated launch on March 14, it anticipated being prepared to launch again shortly. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration must give SpaceX authorization before they can resume flying. According to Kelvin Coleman, FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Transportation, SpaceX will not have any trouble obtaining a license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration in light of what he said about the voyage. He claimed that it resulted in a mishap. However, we ultimately consider it to have been a successful launch attempt because there were no injuries or damages to property as a result. From that flight, SpaceX was able to get a lot of data. The FAA has carefully amended the launch license after every Starship flight to take into consideration mission variants, like the most recent suborbital trajectory. The agency, however, is looking for a more simplified method that would include a single portfolio license for all upcoming launches. An important step given SpaceX's ambitious plan to add six to nine more flights this year. Gwyn Shotwell, president of SpaceX, stated that he does not believe satellites would be deployed on the upcoming Starship launch, revealing the primary goal of the mission. While trading is still going on, I believe that our main focus will be on re-entry and ensuring that these things can land where we want them to. The CEO of SpaceX and tech prodigy Elon Musk had similar thoughts in a tweet titled Getting Ready for Starship Flight 4. The Starship's goal is to pass through Max's re-entry heating with all of its systems operating. Given that the rocket is entirely reusable, it must make re-entry. The foundation of SpaceX's ambition for affordable space exploration is Starship, a fully reusable launch system intended for quick mission turnarounds. This means that following launch, both the Starship spaceship and its extremely massive booster are designed to return to Earth undamaged. 
Heat shielding is used by the spacecraft to complete an atmospheric re-entry and splash down at the recovery location, while the booster makes a guided re-entry and powered landing. Musk views this groundbreaking approach to reusability as a game-changer that will make it financially viable to establish settlements on Mars and the Moon. A major step towards achieving this objective and opening the door for a new age of human lunar exploration is the selection of the Starship by NASA to serve as the basic lander for the Artemis program. It appears that SpaceX is preparing to test the massive super-heavy first-stage booster in preparation for its next Starship mission. All 33 booster engines are fired up for a brief burst while the vehicle is still restrained on the launch pad as part of a test known as a static fire. They have previously conducted tests such as this one using a spacecraft that will float atop extremely heavy objects. To ensure that the spaceship and booster can be reused after launch, this impending static fire is a crucial stage. Since November, Booster 11, the rocket that will launch alongside Ship 29 on the upcoming voyage, has been waiting to take off from the launch pad. Although it has passed its preliminary testing, the launch pad still needs to be fixed before the booster's compatibility with it can be tested. The hoses that supply fuel to the booster on the launch pad need to be repaired. They can test both the launch pad and Booster 11 simultaneously after things are fixed. SpaceX is building a massive rocket called Starship which is intended to be the most potent and completely reusable launch vehicle ever made. SpaceX needs this reusability to accomplish its ultimate goal, moving people and goods beyond Earth, such as on lunar and Martian expeditions. Booster 11, a crucial component of Starship, is currently waiting for its next test on the launch pad. While it's still being held down, the booster engines will momentarily fire up during this test, known as a static fire. The hoses that supply fuel to the booster were damaged, therefore they must first fix the launch pad. After those repairs are completed, we'll find out what the upcoming Starship test entails. The goal of this re-entry focus is not just a safe landing but also laying the groundwork for missions to come. Recall that Starship is intended to be completely reusable. Envision a future in which the Starship launches into space, delivers its cargo, and then elegantly lands back on Earth, prepared for its next journey. The secret to enabling this groundbreaking reusability, lowering the cost, and increasing the accessibility of space travel is ACE re-entry. That was an exciting look at the upcoming Starship launch. But the question remains, will SpaceX finally nail the re-entry this time? Share your predictions and join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay on top of this historic mission, along with all the latest SpaceX news, upcoming launches, and exclusive behind-the-scenes insights.